Monday is the first day of school here in Gwinnett County Public Schools. Um, I'm excited about it. Also a little nervous uh, being a first year teacher here. Um, I plan to come with a lot of energy, <laughs> a lot of energy on the first day of school. Um, try to build those relationships off the bat. Uh, so um, I guess some of my strategies is explain, of course, introduce myself, give a, a little bit about my background, then have the students introduce themselves, you know, talk about things we did over the summer. Uh, the first day is really not going to be any teaching. It's a lot of introduction uh, things. We'll probably do an activity as well to get to know each other as a class and, and just uh, really hit it off that first day to build upon for the rest of the school year. This is a second career for, my, uh, for myself. Uh, my background is in accounting and this will be my first year of teaching here uh, at Gwinnett County Public Schools or teaching in general. Um, leaving the accounting field, yes, it was a big decision. It was kind of uncomfortable at first, but uh, my major decision was my passion is what drove me. I've always had a passion for kids and for students. Uh, I come from a family that has a plethora of educators, uh, whether my mom, father, aunts, uncles, cousins. So it was, it was a decision that's always been brewing, but it was time to make that, that step. So, and I'm excited about making a difference in the lives of the students that I come in contact with, whether those are the students in my class, students in the hallway, students that I uh, coach in, in sports or extracurricular activities, just being a role model and making that difference, I think is really gonna be the deciding factor, which I'm excited about. So the reaction from family when I decided to leave accounting and to go into teaching was very positive. I think they, especially my mom, I think she probably knew it was coming eventually. So she was very excited and, uh, you know, gave me a lot of uh, pointers and stuff uh, throughout the years of our conversations. Um, now friends, on the different hand, they were like, what are you, are you serious? Like you're leaving this or coworkers in, the, in my last profession in accounting, like, are you serious? You're gonna leave accounting to go teach? Like, do you know what teaching is like these days? And things of that nature. But I feel it was the best decision for myself and for my family and I'm excited to get started. Well, it was the best decision for myself and my family to, uh, to leave accounting and to come into teaching is because one, I live in the Grayson community. Um, so being able to impact the community in, as an educator, is, is just an added benefit. Um, of course, you know, everybody says the pay, you know, you don't get rich in teaching, um, but I think you get rich in, in heart in teaching because you know you're making a difference and you see those students, you know, I'm a math teacher, so I'll see those students from when they came into my class to when they leave, the progression that they've made. I guess my measure would be, of course, how the students perform, that I survive <laughs> the school year, of course, that I make it to the end, which I don't think would be a problem. Um, and then just the feedback from my administration, my administrative team as well, I think will drive my success. But, but ultimately for myself is, is to show up every day with a positive attitude and make a difference every day. You know, um, some days are going to be better than others and I understand that, but just to show up every day and to be that, that, um, that role model, that teacher that has high energy and is willing to go the extra mile, I think will, will govern the success of, that, of the school year. Like we said previously, I left the field of accounting and I started at uh, Georgia Gwinnett College in their special education program, and I was a day student. Um, now, a lot of people would tell you, which I was hard at first, that it's hard to work, it's hard to work full time as well as be a student in special education because you have the, your, uh, your field work that you have to do, and then when you get into student teaching, you're in the school all day. So that program really didn't work for me, but um, they started a program for paraprofessionals where you can be a paraprofessional in the, in the Gwinnett County School and work as a paraprofessional during the day and then take classes towards your degree at night at Georgia Gwinnett College, which is a great, a great opportunity. I'm older than your average <laughs> first year teacher. I am 39 years old. Um, I am a parent of two. I have a 10 year old daughter and an eight year old son. Um, so I think from that perspective, I can see both I can see both sides of it. I can see the, the teacher side as well as I can sit in the parent seat and understand what they're going through as a parent. Um, also, I have coached um, uh, at basketball at all age levels. I've worked uh, summer camps at uh, Swanee Sports Academy for several years. So that was, how, that was my in for kids and, and how I kept that passion for kids going throughout the years. I definitely feel that there is a special responsibility on myself to be a role model uh, 
wherever I go, but especially in the school system, yes, being a male and being a, an African-American male, as well as being an African-American male in special education. So it's kind of like the trifecta. And then being a coach of basketball and being involved in extracurricular activities, you know, students that I may not have in my class, I still am able to influence as well and be a, a role model too.